Hey guys, it's Adi here with another new video. And this time it's not an unboxing or a review, it's a tutorial using Tasker. And if you guys are not familiar with Tasker, Tasker is an app with which you can create different tasks to control your smartphone automatically. And this is one app that's going to make your smartphone truly smart. So without wasting any more time, let's check it out. I'm going to show you guys some of the tasks that I use on a daily basis to make my smartphone truly smart. If you guys are not familiar with Tasker, Tasker is an app that will allow you uh, to create tasks with which you can do anything with your smartphone. I would highly recommend everyone to go and check it. Uh, it is a paid app and I think it would cost you around $3 but it is worth every dollar that you are going to spend on this app. So uh, that's enough blabbering I guess so let's jump into the video. How many times have you guys been sitting in your office? and suddenly your phone's ringtone or let me correct it your phone's embarrassing ringtone just goes loud and everyone at your office is staring at you well if you are one of those guys so this task will be really helpful for you before i start creating this task and take you guys step by step let me just tell you what this task is going to do so we are going to create a task based on the location so let's say you are in the vicinity of your office or your school your smartphone will detect it and then it will trigger a task so that's what we are going to do using tasker today so uh, this is the taskers interface it, it's got the profile the tasks and the scene tab here so profiles is what we are going to create to trigger a task so for the first task as i explained before uh, let's create a profile so we are going to click on the plus button at the bottom and this is going to be a location based trigger so we are going to click on location and then we are going to select uh, to identify my location once it finds your approximate location uh, you can turn off gps to save some battery and then uh, you just click on the back button so now you can create you can give it a name so this profile let us let me call it as office and then you can select the tick mark so now a new window pops up asking you to create a new task so create a new task you can name it if you want it is an optional one but I always like to name my task so let me call this as office silent and then you can click on the tick mark so once you're into the task edit page you can create actions by clicking on the plus sign so we click on the plus sign and what you want to do in this profile when this profile is triggered is one you want your phone ringer to be silent so you select audio and then go into silent mode and from here you can select different options it has got off vibrate and on so i always like my phone's ringer to be in vibrate when i'm in office so you select vibrate and then you click on the back button now it's time to test if the task is working there are actually two ways to check if a task is working one you can just click on the play button or i always like to just check it so once i'm out of the tasker as you can see when i turn on my wi-fi my phone will go automatically into vibrate mode so as you can see at the top it's already into vibrate mode and if you pull down the notification you can see that my office task or my office profile is currently active so whenever a task or a profile is active that turns into green so this is a this will be really handy for all the office goers who always forget to put their phone in silence so now we are going to create an exit task what is an exit task so this profile or this task will make your phone go into silent every time you are in your office location but wouldn't it be fun if you can just turn your phone back from silent into full volume once you move out to your office location well that is where exit tasks come in handy so to create an exit task all you have to do is click on the task that's already been created and then select add exit task so i'm going to create a new task the name is always optional but i'm going to give it a name as office silent off so once you give it a name click on the tick button and now you just do the exact opposite of what you did so now you don't want your phone's ringer to be silent so leave it in off and then you can just come back so every time you're in your office location the phone's ringer will go into silent and every time you're out of your office location your phone's ringer will go back to full volume this is one task that i use on a daily basis number two is a task that i also use on a daily basis many times has it happened to you when you are sleeping really good at night and then your phone's notification or your ringer goes off 
So this task is a task that will make your phone go into silent and in my case even the brightness to zero every single night from 10.30 to morning 6. You can set this time according to your own need. So to create this event it is a time based event so you click on the plus sign and then you select the time. Let's say from night 10.43 to morning uh, 6 or 5 or something so let's say 6.43 you want this particular task to happen so you select from time and to time and then you click on the back button and you can create a new task as always you can the task name is optional but I would like to always name it so here I'm going to uh, name it as night silent. So night silent let's name it as on once you are into the task edit page so what you want to happen during this time so you want your phone's ringer to be silent and then in my case I want also my phone's brightness uh, to be as low as possible so and then you click the back button and to check if this task is working you just click on the play button and as you guys can see my display brightness has gone really low and at the top of the notification you can see that my phone's ringer is now in complete silent number three is also a task that i use on a daily basis so this is more of a security setting so every time anyone tries to log into your phone by using the wrong password or wrong pattern more than a certain number of times the phone will take a picture using the front camera so let's see how to create this task so to create this task uh, it is a state based event so you click on the plus sign and then you click on the state and then you click on plugin oh and to create this task uh, you need an application called secure settings so uh, you click on secure settings and then edit and then uh, give it a minute guys and then from the conditions failed login attempts so how many times do you want the maximum number of failed login attempts so let's say let's set it to sorry guys so let's set it to three and then you click on the save button and then as usual the back button so you can name the task as, as usual if you want so let me just name it for fun as a thief so what task to happen so you want your phone to take a photo so you click on the plus sign to create an action and then uh, you can also use the search bar or the filter bar to, to select an action easily so you want to take a photo so i just typed in take photo so once you select the take photo action you can select from the different options here so we need to use the front camera and i would like to name it as thief and then you can append it depend on depending on the date or the time i would like to always append it depending on the date so let me so anything with the percentage sign is a variable so the time will be different every single time so here we are you creating the time variable and then you can select the resolution so let me create a hd resolution that's 1280 into 720 so the rest option the rest of the options you can just leave it a default and then you click on the back button as always to check a task is working or not you can just click on the play button but what's the fun in that so let me come out of tasker and then lock my phone and then we'll try to attempt to log in using the wrong pattern more than three times so one two three and then four and now if you go into your gallery there will be a tasker folder here it is so it did take a picture of me and my camera so if some of your friends try to log into your phone using wrong patterns or passwords this task will take a picture of them and you can show it to them later and ask them what in the world were you doing with this is a really handy task because if someone or some unknown person tries to log into your phone with the wrong password or pattern you can make it take a picture and then you can sync your gallery folder to google drive and you can just check it online this is a really really handy task and this is also a task that I use on a daily basis. Number 4 is also a task that I, well I don't use it on a daily basis but I use it quite often. So every time I try to plug in a headphone or a earphone, a few apps pop up so that I can choose from whatever app I want rather than going into the app drawer and then looking for the app that I want. 
So as always to create this new task, you need to create a profile. So this is a state based event. So you click on state and then hardware. And every time your headset is clicked, uh, you can choose from mic or no mic or any. I always like to leave it on any. And then you click back. As always, the new task windows pops up and then you click on new, new task. As always, you can name the task if you want, it's optional. Uh, let me just name it as headset or headphone jack. And then you can click on the tick button. So what do you want to happen? So you want a menu alert. So you click on menu and then you can change the layout to icon grid or pop-up. So I like to keep it on icon grid menu. And then you need to select some app to show up in the menu so i'm going to click on the plus sign and then actions and what do you want the action to do you want to load a new app so you click on load app and uh, give it a second guys i have lots of apps to load so once the it shows the different applications on your phone uh, i want my music app to load so i select my music and then click on the back button and again you can choose how many ever apps you want so let me just select another app as an example so load app let me find my google's play music and here it is so and then you click on the back button so now let's check this out so every time i plug in my headphone or earphone a menu will pop up giving me the options that I created so I can either choose my Google Play Music or my default music app from my phone. So this will be very very handy in case you want different options to choose from every time you plug in your headphone or your earphone. These are some of the tasks that I use on a daily basis. There are tons of tutorials on YouTube and on the web for Tasker and there are some really nice profiles also available on Tasker. I'm not an expert in Tasker but these are some of the tasks that I use on a daily basis and trust me guys Tasker is one app that will truly make your smartphone smart and will make your life much more easy. I highly recommend you guys go and check out this application uh, you can find the link in the description below it will cost you three dollars but it is worth every penny that you're going to pay for it and uh, thank you guys thank you for watching and if you guys like this video or if you guys like to watch more video like this hit the thumbs up button and show some like do subscribe to the channel a lot more content coming in the future i would really appreciate it and share this video to your friends or your colleagues who you think it will be really useful how many of you guys are using tasker so what are the different tasks that you guys use on a daily basis let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section below the like button once again guys thank you for watching i really appreciate it and in case uh, you're interested in the phone that i use as my daily driver you can check the link in the description too thank you guys for watching really appreciate it until next time this is adi here signing off